Hi everyone, I'm Laurenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Star Wars games for the Nintendo GameCube. Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader is amazing. You can see the big production value everywhere, from the explosions up to the small cockpit view you get. The game is easy to pick up and it gets progressively more and more tougher. Also if you want good scores, you'll need some great piloting skills. There are hidden upgrade parts throughout the map that boost your shield or other parts of your ships. You get unlockables too, like for example the Millennium Falcon or this car. And aside of the great gameplay, the visuals are amazing too, with detailed ship models and some good looking explosions. The voice acting is also top notch using audio clips from the movies. Overall, it's a game that gets challenging, but is totally worth it. If you haven't played this one yet, you definitely should. The second game is Star Wars The Clone Wars, which takes place after the events of Episode 2, which ended with the eruption of a war between the Galactic Republic and the Separatists. In the game, you'll play as Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker and Mace Windu. In the game, you have to stop the separatists to unleash a devastating weapon. During the game's 16 missions, you will cross the maps either on foot or on the many vehicles you have at your disposal. You get side objectives too, aside from the main goals. And it's nice that aside the combat, you can issue simple orders such as attack or regroup by using the controller's directional pad. Also, the Clone Wars had a feature I wish more games today had, local, split-screen, multiplayer. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast is a game that for its time was great, and even today it can be great. You play as Calcatar, a Jedi Outcast. You get normal shooting levels where you will also have some jumping to do and to unlock some doors, but also Calcatar isn't just someone who shoots. He's a Jedi too, which means that he will be using his force abilities and you will be able to attack with your lightsaber too. And you know what makes the game even better? Jedi battles. You get plenty of battles. You should definitely play this game. It's one of those games that no matter how much they age, they will still remain amazing. Star Wars Bounty Hunter has a main character that many people love, Boba Fett. It's interesting that this game tells you the story from the bad guy's perspective. It also explains how Count Dooku lays an evil trap with the help of the famous bounty hunter Boba Fett. The game consists of 18 levels, it's nice that Boba Fett has a lot of moves he can perform. He can run quickly, use his dual blasters to be of multiple targets simultaneously, climb, use evasive rolls and crawl through tight spaces and he can use numerous other weapons and gadgets such as flamethrowers or a welding torch to knock down thin walls. Also you get to play with Django too, Django can even take out foes using just his bare hands and he has a jetpack which lets him fly but only for a short short time. But aside from the combat, the game has a lot of problems. The collision is not the best, so you'll see your character poke his arms and legs outside the levels, or the camera will annoy you, especially in tight corridors, the frame rate is not the best, and the level designs are dull and too repetitive. Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3 Rebel Strike is mostly the same awesome space shooter. The developers try to integrate new stuff and it ended up being poorly executed. You get on foot sequences that feel clunky and out of place. But when you get out of the on foot sequences, the space missions are as fun as in the previous game. And even the new land vehicle missions are great. And if you like the first game reviewed in this list, you are going to like this one too. The gameplay is more varied, it's true that some parts don't feel that good, but overall, it's a pretty good game, just like the other one. And LEGO Star Wars and LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, cover the entire saga. LEGO Star Wars covers the prequel trilogy and LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. If you've never played a LEGO game before, you should. 
The target audience are the kids, but the games are amazing for adults too. Their simple humor gets you, and the gameplay is awesome too. There are plenty of characters and levels to finish and replay. The game is amazing, ju just try them. Ju ju just try the LEGO games. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.